welcome to the physics class today uh, we are going to introduce electricity for class 10 uh, so we'll introduce it these three topics we are going to cover so let let us understand what do you mean by electricity basically it's a branch of physics which deals with the study of electric charges in motion there is one more branch which deals with the study of electric charge uh, which is at rest that is electrostatic so these are the branches of physics which basically deals with study of electric charge and this deals with study of electric charges at rest static stands for what steady or rest and electricity deals with study of electric charges which are in motion now the question remains what do we mean by electric charge if you know the basic structure of Uh, atom uh, atom is a further indivisible part of any material in the universe atom consists of uh, nucleons that is proton and neutron inside the nucleus surrounded by electrons now these electron proton neutron we call them as elementary particles and out of this electron and proton carry electric charge on them they carry electric charge basically so it's a property of elementary particle what is electric charge it is a property of elementary particle such as proton and electron by virtue of which they either show attraction or repulsion now when they show attraction when the charges are like for example plus and minus they will attract each other when charges are like like plus plus and minus minus they will repel each other so we exactly understand what do you mean by electric charge this is property of elementary particles such as proton electron by virtue of which they either show attraction or repulsion now we have a symbol for uh, electric charge uh, uh, symbol for electric charge is q sometimes we go for small q as well as e basically small e we used to show charge or a unit charge on an electron or proton so what is the charge a proton carry that is plus 1.6 into 10 to the to minus 19 coulomb now coulomb is a solid unit for the measurement of electric charge this is a standard unit coulomb okay if charge is too small then we go for milli coulomb for the small charge we go for micro coulomb or nano coulomb right now now charge on electron magnitude will remain same and the charge will be minus 1.6 into 10 to the to minus 19 coulomb right so by this we understand how miniature charge an electron or a proton carry so for say we can understand if you want to constitute one coulomb of charge we need millions or billions of particles uh, if, if you go for calculation for example q that is the total electric charge is equal to number of charged particle may be proton or electron multiplied by the basic charge now what is the basic charge 1.6 if you go for calculation we need one coulomb as a total charge one coulomb number of charge particle we do not know so that will remain n and the basic charge is 1.6 into 10 to the minus 19 this when changes the sign after calculation we understand the number of charge particle requires to constitute one coulomb of charge is 6.25 10 raised to 18 number of protons or number of electrons so we are done with electric charge different symbols and assign it is coulomb now electric current now when this charges flows they form a current and we call it as electric current so what do we mean by electric current electric current refers to the flow or rate of flow of electric charge so if you write here electric current what do we mean by electric current electric current is equal to rate of rate means upon time rate 
of flow of electric charge. So if we go for symbol, electric charge we have with the capital Q, small q or E times T, and when we go for its SI unit, Q unit is Coulomb. Time SI unit is second. So Coulomb per second is unit for electric current. Coulomb per second is also popularly known as ampere. Its short form is A. So likewise, uh, if you have a very small or minute current, we give, go for milli ampere. Sm further small, we can go for micro ampere or nano ampere and so on. And so on. So we exact and electric current is shown by symbol I. Okay, it is measuring ampere. So what is electric current? Rate of flow of electric charge. Rate of flow of electric charge. For example, uh, we say water current. It's a flow of water. Wind current is a flow of wind. Similarly, electric current is a flow of electric charge. Now the third and the last topic, electric potential difference. Now we know that electric charges they remain steady okay under normal condition now unless they move electric current is not produced so we need to do work to force them to move and the amount of work done to move an electric charge from one place to the other place amount of work then needed to move an electric charge from one place to other place is called as electric potential difference. Electric potential difference is shown by a symbol V, work done by W and electric charge by Q. When we go for its SI unit, work done, SI unit is Joule. Electric charge we have already seen here, SI unit is Coulomb. Joule per Coulomb which is popularly known as Volt in the name of, in the memory of Alexandra Volta. So, electric potential difference when we apply, okay, electric charge starts moving from one place to other place and when electric charges move, they constitute electric current. So, these three things are related with each other. So, to summarize, Electric charge is a property shown by elementary particles such as el electron, proton. When these electric charges move or they are in motion, they will constitute or form electric current. And to make these electric charges in a flow, we have to do some work. And that work done per electric charge is called as electric potential. Difference. Thank you.